Hey guys, how's it going? It's Ryan. I hope you've seen my film that I just posted for the Mission Adventure Race. A couple weeks ago, I followed a bunch of people around canoeing, biking, and running through the Jackson, Washington State Forest in Southern Indiana. I was putting together a promotional film for a race company called Dino, Do Indiana Off-Road. I spent the whole weekend down there, edited it the last week or so, and posted it to my YouTube channel. I'm pretty happy with it. I'm gonna put the link like right up here. Check it out, tell me what you think about it. Yeah, so the race director, Brian reached out to me and asked if I could come down and film a promotional video for his adventure race uh, to help people understand kind of what it's like and just to get the word out and put something on his website. So I put a lot of work into this video and I'm happy with the finished product. This video that you're watching right now is gonna be like a behind the scenes and it kind of jumps around. There's not really like a great like flow and story to it. So I'm gonna jump in and kind of interject a few thoughts along the way. If you wanna get the complete backstory, you should check out my podcast, which I'm gonna to link to right below. I go into a lot more detail about what it was like filming. So with that said, let's jump into it. This is behind the scenes of me filming the Mission Adventure Race. <sighs> all right, that's it. I'm all packed up, ready to go. Welcome to the behind the scenes of shooting the Mission Adventure Race. So headed down there for the weekend. Gonna do basically one video that's an overview of this year's race, but then another video that's kind of just like all about what is adventure racing because it's really different than just a regular running or like triathlon race or something like that. Different than a bike race. It's, well, you'll see. I'm really pumped for this weekend. I think this is gonna be really fun. I know where I'm going. And hopefully put together some nice uh, productions for this director and for this race and give them some publicity and help them grow this race for the future. So with that said, I don't know what the rest of this video is gonna be like, but thanks for joining me. And here's the behind the scenes. It's Friday night. The plan is to like camp out, probably in my Jeep tonight. There's a pre-race meeting, uh, so we're gonna catch a bunch of that. And then tomorrow morning, bright and early, six o'clock, the race starts. And I'm not really exactly sure. Oh, it starts with canoeing first. Yeah, I guess that's supposed to be the first leg. And then, I don't know, I think they maybe run or bike after that and then it's just a mix of everything else after that so that's kind of like what it looks like um, I'm just pretty much going to be non-stop running around I think one other thing I just realized five seconds ago is that the AC in this Jeep is busted and it hasn't really been a problem because this winter has been so long it's gonna be a really hot car ride I'm also like not feeling good like like I'm getting sick, so I hope not, because that would suck. I'm in downtown Indy right now. It is so freaking hot. The temperature on my dash keeps going back and forth between 89 and 90 degrees. Made it, woo! And I'm not melted. This is kind of funny, but right there, so that's the tree right there my drone crashed into and right there in the water is where it was submerged that's where I was like sweeping my hands through like for an hour trying to find my drone so I'm gonna keep my drone out of that area this time here we are not nearly as many cars and stuff as the Jackson County 5050 all right so that's it I'm gonna head in now and see what's going on. So at this point, I've just gotten down there and like I said, my air conditioner was broke and so the whole way it was just like unbearable heat. <laughs> so got there, said hi to everyone, pulled out my camera, started filming, everyone setting up their transition areas, checking in, then there was a race briefing. In that meeting, the race director, Brian, just went over everything that they need to know for the next day. It wasn't a whole lot of detailed information because in this race, they get all of the information as they go. 
So they never really had a full set of checkpoints. They never really had all the information they needed. They only had basically what they needed for the next couple checkpoints. So that was really cool. Um, so that all wrapped up and then I sat in on a meeting with just the uh, race employees and volunteers and we kind of went over the map and we just uh, I found out where a lot of the checkpoints were and kind of where I was gonna go film and then pretty early in the night just put the seats down on my Jeep and slept in there it was really freaking hot for the first couple hours but then it got really nice and then got up super early because everyone had to be on the buses at 5 15 a.m. so kind of got up around like 4 30 or something I think and started putting my stuff together and so here's a little bit from that All right, what's up? It's 4.45 in the morning. I slept here in the Jeep, and it wasn't too bad. It was pretty hot for the first couple couple hours. It was really hot, but then it, once it cooled down, it was really nice. Everything gets started in 30 minutes. Everyone's getting on the buses. I'll be filming that, and then headed up to the canoe start. And then it'll be about three hours until they're done with the canoe, so yeah. There hasn't been much on this camera yet. Last night was pretty busy. Pre-race meeting, and then uh, all the volunteers at another meeting, and then it was just time to go to bed. Yeah, I'll be updating you as we go. So it is 6.45, and just finished up uh, getting the 18-hour people into their canoes. And right now we're waiting around for the eight-hour, for the light race to start. So got a lot of really good shots of getting the canoes in, but it was still really dark so I didn't take the drone out. Most of what I'm doing now is with the glide cam, just kind of running around following people. This is what it looks like down here. They've got their transition area set up and with their mountain bikes and they're headed out. The light people, I think, are running first. So I'll be able to follow them for a little bit, and then we gotta drive up to where the canoes are stopping, but for the 18 hour people. But those canoes, it's about three miles away. No, like 12 miles or something. And it's supposed to take them like three hours. Just some waiting around time right now. So after this point, kind of a lot of time has passed. I didn't really have a whole lot of opportunities to pull out the behind the scenes camera. I was so busy running around and filming actual content that I wanted for the actual race film that I just didn't even have time to pull out my camera and set it on the ground and film behind the scenes. It was just, there was so much going on and we were moving so fast from checkpoint to checkpoint. And it was as much as I could do to just get my first camera set up and ready to go. And so a couple hours have gone by at this point and next I'm gonna check in mid afternoon. Hey guys, what's up? We're just running around like crazy. Like even right now, like I need to be down there. So I gotta get going. It's been really difficult trying to keep my batteries charged. That's been one of the hardest things. For three quarters of a mile. I'm not even moving. That's been like one of the hardest things. Uh, the glide cam is awesome. I'm really liking using it. It's heavy as crap, but so is a gimbal. Um, I just really hope that when I get home, like this footage looks good. Cause I feel like it's okay, but a lot of times you think that and it's not, it's just really bad. One cool thing about this whole thing is that all of these racers are, are on teams. Most of them are on teams. And so they're talking amongst themselves. I'm getting a lot of that on camera, which I think will be really solid. Um, Continue for three quarters of a mile. So that's it. I'm gonna get going to this checkpoint. We're gonna see if I can make it. So see ya. All right, ended up making it to the checkpoint. This is the part in the video where you see a couple bikes come in and there's kind of like a tent checkpoint there. And then they get off of their bikes and they transition into their running shoes and they head off into the forest. That part was really cool because they were going on an orienteering section and right then and there, the guy at the checkpoint, the volunteer gave them 
the coordinates of the next five checkpoints and they were just out in the middle of the forest. They were off trail this whole time. And at this point, I think they were maybe like 10 or 12 hours into the race. It was just really cool to see them get the checkpoints and just realize that they were gonna be off trail for a long time. Cause this was five checkpoints out in the middle of nowhere off trail. And one funny thing, just like yesterday, Brian, the race director, posted a video of him going back to retrieve these checkpoints. And at one of them, right underneath it was this huge rattlesnake. Uh, so I probably would have like died instantly. But yeah, at this point, I'm like super tired, really worn out. Like another problem along the way is I had a lot of trouble staying hydrated because uh, I was carrying so much camera gear and I just wasn't really thinking about staying hydrated and then all of a sudden I would notice that I was way low. It was difficult to manage that. This next scene you're gonna see, I'm heading back to the camp to interview Brian. So the whole interview that you see with Brian, it's spliced throughout the video. That was done right at the end of the day. Yeah, I'm so dirty and nasty. And in a quarter mile. Yeah, it's just gross out here. It's so hot. It's in the high 80s and the bugs are out in force. Turn right on County Road 175 South for one and a half miles. Oh, there's some bikers. They're going fast on this hill. This is beautiful back here, guys. You know, this has been such a fun day already and I really would love for this to turn into like a normal thing that I do, like go out and film videos for races. If there's any more race directors out there that want some videos made of their race, uh, let me know. This is not where I'm supposed to be. This will be a really cool drone spot, but I need to go to the lookout tower so that I can hopefully catch a team uh, climbing this tower. Your destination is on the left. Where? Is that where I want to go? Okay, yeah, that was definitely not it. I don't know where this fire tower is. Let's check the map. It's a little bit too far. All right, so we went just a little bit too far. So we gotta go back where we came. There it is. Okay. I don't know which direction they're coming from. I don't know that. Guys, I just really hope this is not the most boring video I've ever put on my YouTube channel. Oh, there's some guys. Dude. He went right past the checkpoint. What the heck? This guy just went right past the checkpoint. Alright, well that's all she wrote from the Mission Adventure Race. Yeah, the main focus is these two videos that I'm putting together for the race. Probably be back um, with the regular schedule next week. But until then, thanks for watching. Bye. All right, so that's it. Thanks a whole lot for watching. Again, if you haven't seen the film I produced and put up on my YouTube channel, go check that out. It's linked everywhere in this video. Also, if you wanna get the full behind the scenes, listen to my podcast where I explain everything that I went through and all the stories that lead up to this from a year before filming this race all the way up until everything that happened throughout race day. Tell me if you know of another race that you'd like me to reach out to this race director uh, to help film a video for their race or if you or anyone you know wants their kind of personal story documented in a film I would love to get involved in that. Contact me. I'd love to start a conversation with you and see if our interests would line up and maybe we can get some projects started. So that's it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.